my, my grandfather actually came over to build a railway. Can you start again and tell me what year and where he came, went to? Uh, well, okay, I'm, I'm not sure where he went to, but I know he worked on the railway. But I mean, tell, if you could say he came to Canada. Yes. And in what year, and if you could start again. I think it's in, in, in 1978 or in 1878, I should say, <laughs> somewhere around there. And then... Uh, but if uh, you could, sorry, Fred, start again, and I need you to start completely again and tell me my grandfather came to okay. Canada in, 19, in 19, 1878 to build the railway. Yeah. Uh, my grandfather was, uh, you know, came over to Canada to build a railway in 1878. And then, you know, my father came, you know, he brought my father over. And because of the head tax problems and so on, he couldn't get my grandmother over, but so he brought my uh, father over. And as a result, I think my father came in 1911, okay? And then the, the Chinese Exclusion Act came in, in 1923, I think. And uh, because of that, uh, my father went back to China, got married, uh, somewhere around 1926 or something, and um, and uh, and because of Chinese Exclusion Act, uh, my dad couldn't bring my my uh, mother over, and as a result, my my uh, brother and I was born in China. My my brother was uh, born in 1928, and I was born in 1935, and because of the, of the Chinese Exclusion Act. Until that was uh, repealed and, and, um, in 1947 or 48, uh, we, my mother and I, did not come over until 1949. But because of my, uh, you know, because there was a, a, an age uh, exclusion, I think it was 16 and under, that the only time that, uh, at that time that you can come over. As a result, my, my brother did not come over. He was not allowed to.